Good morning, everyone. We are up at the coop, letting the chickens out this morning. So we've let the chickens out. We got some kitchen scratch, uh, kitchen scraps for the chickens. So see if we can see them in there. Not yet. <laughs> they have lots to scratch and peck at. Come on, girls. Here they come. I can see one. Here we go. The first emergence. Richie. <laughs> Richie. Don't worry, ladies, you are safe from the dog. The dog's not safe from anyone. <laughs> number four? No, no. There we go. <laughs> Zooming dog. So that's the chickens out for this morning. Uh, I'll have to put him to bed again tonight at 8 o'clock. But unless you guys really want to see me do the same chores over and over again, I'll uh, save you watching me do that a second time. Have a great day, guys. And I'll have to figure out what will be my first project of the day. Catch you a bit later. All right, guys. It's now about 9.30, and we are going to go up in there. So... Check out the roof space. This is going to be a bit of fun. Okay. I'm just going to put you guys looking out for a second while I get the cover off. Okay, I might actually need to turn the torch on because it seems to be dark up there. Let's see if we can. Oop. Can I? I don't know. Oh. Here's our roof space. Okay. Oh, it's my turn to go up. Can I turn on the light for you guys? No, how about?
about I turn on my head torch? Which I've got on upside down, of course. <laughs> Uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty dark up here guys, so I won't be able to get much footage. I need to go get a more powerful torch too. But, this is where I'm going to spend the next sort of maybe half hour. It's not actually too hot up here, it seems. Uh, I need to, I'm going to put some mouse traps up here and um, check the far corner that you're kind of looking in the direction of at the moment. I want to see if I can find the joists hopefully it extends exactly where I'm expecting so that I can hang Lauren's hammock chair but I'll be up here for about a half hour looking around and laying some traps guys I got my torch with me now as you can see I went all the way over there into the not quite into the corner I do need to go back again because I need to double check and see how secured the joists are um, so there's some I can screw into, but I just want to make sure that they're not going to just rip out of the wall because they're nailed to the, the actual joist. So I want to, one of these. Um, in other news, I've got a mouse trap here for now. And then if we spin around, I've got another one there. I know they are close to the entrance and everything, but it's my hope that, uh, if they discover them, they'll come over and I'll check on them every day or so. And the other reason I've got them close is so that I can get up here and quickly and easily check. But that big pipe there is the chimney to the fireplace. So that all of the fire can, or the smoke can come out and then through, there it is. That pipe there is the exhaust pipe for the, uh, the range hood above our stovetop. And then over there, just beyond the white pipe. So the white pipe is the exhaust fan for the bathroom and behind it there's a green, I'm not sure if you can see it so well, but it's a green cable. That is where our satellite dish is positioned. And then directly above me is about where I want to eventually put a truss for the point-to-point -point system on the roof. So it's you know, convenient access for when I have to do that. But that's our roof space. Huh. All right, I need to do some cleaning out of the chicken coops uh, and more digging for the outdoor gym. So back to the day of work. Hey guys. Oh, it's very bright out. Uh, we are out digging more of the hole. Well, not a specific hole. It's more of just leveling the area for the gym. Uh, I've waited until the afternoon to actually do this because our weather station is reading a UV index of almost 15 at the moment. So if you spend any kind of significant amount of time in the sun, you're going to get basically sunburnt immediately. I am wearing sunscreen and uh, if I step out here... This is basically where the sun starts. So um, thankfully the shed here that I'm working in, and here's, here's the, uh, the hole for you guys. The shed that I'm working in, because of where, where the sun's currently positioned and once the clouds clear, um, I'll be back in direct sunlight. But working down there, I will be in full shade, so I'm not going to get sunburnt. And that's why I've waited till the afternoon to start doing this. But otherwise, here's how far I got yesterday. Uh, I still need to dig out the back portion, if you can kind of see, it's uh, not... Um, so let me adjust the camera there. So the back portion that you see there, um, on the side where my hand is, needs a bit more work. The other side, uh, it just needs a whole level, and as you can see, it's sort of currently um, sloping downhill towards the back, which is what I want. I need to then plan a couple of channels to drain the water, when it fills with water in the front section here, uh, I need to dig all the way out so that it's more of a, a entryway or, or um, easier entry rather than having to step down. And I still need to widen it a little to accommodate all of the bolt work that I have to do. But that's what we're looking like at the moment. I'm going to get back to work. Bobby! Also, 
I put together the rack. Uh, I still need to do some work, cut out a drainage path out the back, do some more work on grading the front so that it's a, a lighter slope, but here is all of the dirt that I've excavated so far. More to go, and at least I can use what's there to help level uh, underneath the rack in future when I level it, because at the moment it slopes back and uh, sort of down to the left. So I need to do some work, level it a little bit. It's not going to be perfectly level because I still want for the water to flow towards the back, but um, more work needs to be done. But this is how it stands for now. Yay. That's exhausting and hot work so far. Good morning, guys. Hopefully it's not too windy for you, but it is quite a breezy day. We are heading down below the pine trees because I'm going to do a little bit of tree care or uh, tree trimming at the very least. Uh, not too long ago, we had the previous owner drop by, which I asked him to do as he's in the forest. So it gives a bit of an indication about some of the things that we should do with the trees on the property and uh, how to care and maintain them and, and uh, that kind of idea. One of which was um, you know, because Australia is so prone to bushfire, make sure you, uh, you know, keep the lower limbs clear of the height of the grass because that way it's going to be harder for a fire to get up into the canopy of the trees. So what I'm going to do today is head down to one of the new or newish groves of trees and take a bit of time to uh, care for the limbs and um, try and organize good growth patterns and everything. But I'll give you guys a bit of a walk down and I'll show you where I'm gonna work, what I'm gonna do, but because of how windy it is, I don't think there's gonna be an opportunity for much sound, so this might be a quiet portion of the video. All right, so we've made it as far as the uh, pine grove here. So some of these pines I need to thin out as well, so a future video, probably in a couple months, what we're going to do, some of the thinner trees that you see, uh, you know, further in there and uh, down over there and whatnot that are sort of still close together. We're going to be cutting the odd one down to give everything else a little bit more room to grow and expand and everything. So that'll be a bit of fun. You guys can join me uh, learning and trying to cut down. I mean, these are not short trees. You can see how tall they are. So I'll have to cut them down as safely as I can and uh, get the work done. But if you see over there in the distance all the shorter trees that are starting to get a little bit tree-like and grow taller, that's where we're heading today. And like I said, it's going to be a bit windy, so we will probably lose the ability to talk without you guys getting deafened. Um, but I'll show you what I'm going to do and uh, I'll probably pop some text on screen so you know what I'm going to plan to do. But uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Okay guys, hopefully the wind's not so bad in amongst the trees here. I'll show you a little bit of what I've done. So if we have a look at this tree, get down close, you can see I've cut you know, some of the branches off and they're laying on the ground now, so that there's some clearance in the event of fire coming through. At the same time, let's see if I can find one of the ones that I did. Um, 
Well, we'll keep walking this way because there's lots of trees. Where are they? Let's go down to this row. So some of them getting in amongst them was a, a bit of a chore. But I cleared a lot of the lower limbs which will encourage the energy of the tree to go up the tree and promote a bit of growth hopefully. I'm pretty sure I haven't killed any of them, which was my intention to not kill any of them. Here we go, this one might be a good good example of one of the other things that I was doing. Maybe. Alright. Not one that I've done specifically, but if you have a look down here, you can see how the tree kind of bends. What's happened here, if we take some liberties here, is if you assume that this was a you know more significant growth, what we can do is cut off the less strong limb, which will encourage growth to go up the stronger limb, so all the way up the main trunk. So a few of the trees I'm trying or I've tried a little bit to train to do exactly that. So stop sending energy to the smaller and weaker limbs, and that'll then send energy up the main trunk strengthening that further and promoting more vertical growth rather than sort of wider growth. Now at the same time when I got to the end of the line here I discovered and I thought our property ended a lot sooner but we've got some native growth area here as well. We can sort of go in amongst the trees here and I can show you where our property actually ends. But I thought that was you know the grove went right up to the the fence line, but no, we've got a lovely little foresty area here, and there's our fence just off there. And it actually goes all the way down into the gully to my right here, and then basically follows the edge of the road quite a bit down. So it'll hit the road down there which is next door neighbor's access road. But yeah, we've got that, that gully which, uh, you know, when it floods, or if, I guess Australia is a when, not an if, um, that is likely to be a bit of a river on occasion, which I was unaware of. At the same time, some of these fallen trees I can probably make use of, but that's super cool. And then that sort of goes all the way down. But I've done uh, probably half a dozen rows of trees back in the uh, the grove here. So I'm going to leave the rest for another day. It's starting to heat up a bit on me. And I've been out for a little over an hour now, I think, in the sun. So I don't want to end up getting sunburnt again. But uh, I do want to take a quick walk. We're going to go down into the gully and then up the other side because it looks like I have been kind of wrong about where the fence line runs in my mind for a little while now. Oh, oh, all the way down and then up the other side. Oof. Okay. Awesome. So all of that native land back there is absolutely beautiful and I'll take you guys on a walk in a future video. But it looks like we've got a further growth planting here and some pine trees on our property which are you know, the same as next door. So that's the pine that they farm for wood. And it looks like I was wrong all along because they look the same, but these are ours which is super cool and we've got some sort of little treelings or saplings starting to grow as well I'll have to make sure I come over and you can see here the previous owner if we look at the ground you see all of those dead limbs on the ground so they've done some work sort of cutting off the lower limbs to promote vertical growth and prevent fires from ripping up into the canopy which is always important you need to make sure you maintain your property but this is super cool. Gives me an idea that uh, maybe we'll do a walk one day sort of down along these lines and have a look at everything. But for now, 
Oh, there you go. There's the fence line, it looks like. So, the fence line cuts back into our property just over, uh, over there where the grove of trees starts up again, which is super cool. But yes, like I said, I will take you guys for a walk through some of the native forest. Uh, we'll take some walks through some of these tree groves in the future. And I hope it's not too windy, but uh, that's where we're going to stop for today. I'm going to get undercover while uh, everything starts to heat up. Actually, I think that's our property as well. I'm a bit turned around. I'm pretty sure that's just one of our other paddocks. But yeah, I'm going to get undercover while it heats up and the sun intensifies so I don't get sunburnt. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy, guys. What I'm doing at the moment is drilling some pilot holes for the screws. Four and a half mil for a G12 screw. So instead of me making horrible holes, I make controlled holes that I can then screw into. So let's try that again. Screw those in so that it stays up. Mm -hmm. This further down so I don't knock it off again. See there.
All right. Now I'll just put that up for the rest of the epic, and I'll show you guys what that looks like once we put it all up. So the hammock chair is hung, and now Lauren can enjoy lazy afternoons reading her book as she slowly spins around. So I've got a chain up the top there, and there is the pivot that I hung in the roof to hold my lovely wife. Say hi to everyone, sweetie. <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to be our last video or last section for the week. I hope you guys have had a great week. I'll see you in the next week. Thanks a lot. And remember to give us a like, a subscribe, and hit that bell if you want to be notified. See you guys.